Hello everybody, welcome back to the video series lecture of PPS and that is Programming for Problem Solving. My name is Jinal Jala and I am Assistant Professor in LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology and I am your instructor of this subject. In previous video lecture, we had already started our first module and that is Introduction to Computer and Programming and the module weightage is 11% in university exam. In previous video, we had already discussed two topics. First topic is block diagram of computer and second topic is types of software. And today, we are going to discuss about different types of computer languages. So, first of all, in day-to-day -day life, we are using many communication languages for communicating with other person like Hindi, English, Gujarati and many more languages, right? But today we have to communicate with our computer or we can say machine. So how we can communicate? Computer can't communicate with us automatically. So the programmer needs to give instruction to our computer. And this set of instructions are called as a software or we can say program as we already discussed in our previous videos in types of software. And these set of instructions are built using different programming languages. And these programming languages are mainly used to control the behavior of our computer system. And we have many different types of computer languages. So these languages are mainly divided into two categories. First category is low level language. And second category is high level language. The low level language is the language which is understood by machine. And high level language is more user friendly. Or we can say it is a very closer to human or programmer. And we have to discuss about these two types of languages. The low level language is also categorized into two parts. First is a machine language and second is a assembly level language. And today in this video lecture we are going to discuss this three different languages like machine language, assembly language and high level language with introduction and merits and demerits of each. So start with machine language. Machine means our computer and computer can understand only one language. Which language? It is a binary language. And what is binary language? Binary language is the combination of zeros and ones only. And this combination of zeros and ones represents as a one instruction. And set of instructions are directly run on our CPU in machine level language. And this language is created very fast among all other languages. That's why it is also called as a first generation language. And here in machine language, we have to deal with directly hardware or we can say processor, memory and data. And machine can directly understand this language without any translation. So translator is needed here? No. That's why it is a translation free language. And in other languages, we have to require some translators to convert the language into machine form. So in this language, without, translate, without translator, our execution time will be uh, faster compared to other language. That's why it is a high speed in execution. But here machine language is directly deal with processors. And processor have a different different types like one processor has a 32 bit instruction size. Then 
second has a 64 bit instruction size so all these different architectures has a different instruction and that's why machine language is a machine dependent language or we can say it is not a portable language and if you want to do any operation or you want to write the program in machine language like addition of two numbers then we have to remember the combination of zeros and ones for all the process for addition uh, we have a particular form of zeros and ones same way for our input we have to write particular binary form so all these combinations can't remember easily by human and this language is mainly created for machine not for human so we can say that it is a complex language so solve this problem the new language is introduced which is assembly language so let us see what is assembly language here in assembly language the combination of zeros and ones are replaced with mnemonic codes and this mnemonic code are known as opcode and opcode is used for specified one operation just to see the example if you want to do addition same example so here by using different instruction by using move instruction we can copy the data in register and then after by using add instruction we can add the two numbers same way here you can see another example the different different instructions are move come cmp jmp jump add all are the different instruction available in assembly language so these instruction are easily remember for human as compared to the combination of zeros and one so we can say that it is easy to understand and this assembly level language is the type of low level language and low level language is used for dealing with directly hardware so we can say that assembly level language has also more control on hardware hence it is efficient but the same problem here is it is also machine dependent like machine language and harder to learn why because for different architectures we have to remember different types of instruction means we can't run the same program which run on the 32 bit machine uh, we can't run the same program on 64 bit machine that's why it is hard to learn for all different types of architecture hope the low level language concept is understood by you very well so switch to the next language and that is high level language what is high level language high level language consists of set of english like words and symbols means here instructions are replaced with english words and symbols the same example you can see here if you want to do addition then simply we can write as a a plus b and we can store the data in a and b variable and directly using plus symbol we can do addition so we can say that it is a very uh, easy and we can uh, read very easily our readability will automatically increase compared to previous languages and one major advantage is one program which you have a write on 32 bit machine the same program we can execute on 64 bit machine also so this is also one advantage and it is a easy language compared to all other languages that's why user can create more and more program in high level language and if you want to do programming in c program then for print anything we can use printf function so printf is similar to one english word and we can easily remember this function so all type of functions are used in our high level language program so our coding speed will be increase and our coding time 
will be saved compared to the machine language but this language is mainly created for human it is a human oriented language that's why it is not used for dealing directly with our hardware so we can say that high level language has a poor control on hardware and one major drawback is high level language is directly not understand by our machine because it is in english form and machine can understand only one form that is binary form so what we have to do we need translators translators are used for converting high level language into machine language and here our translation time will be increase so we can say that it is a less efficient as compared to machine language and c c++ java all are the languages which are the example of high level language and we are going to learn high level language in our subject and in next video we are going to discuss with the, uh, the concept of different translators which are used for converting one language to the machine language hope you understand the concept of different types of computer languages we will meet you soon and if you have any query then you can contact me anytime thank you for listening see you bye bye